So in this video, I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how you can connect to a mail server, basically uh, using a basic SMTP connection and even send an email today. I guess some people are, are surprised that this still works today, but uh, it's actually fairly common uh, for this to work and you know, even major webmail uh, providers will support this. Um, and so the simplest way to demonstrate this is if you open up your command prompt and I'll get that in here. So, um, so first you need the address of a, a mail server. And in this case, I'm just going to use Gmail as a basic example, but you could connect to pretty much any mail server. And the the, the address for the server might not just be the actual domain you visit uh, if you're using webmail or something. Um, so you'll need to obtain that. But assuming you've done that, you can just usually, you can typically just tell that to it. So I'll just do that here. And here is a address for Google's SMTP server. And it's port 25. Usually SMTP runs on port 25. Once we connect to that, we get a response from Google's mail server. And so I can just do uh, uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, so I screwed up there. I pressed uh, I press enter. Let's try that again. And now if, uh, if I come in here and I type hello and uh, just some domain. Uh, let me try that again. And now it says at your server. So it didn't echo back to me. I just used whitehouse.gov as an example, but uh, you could pretty much uh, put anything in there. The idea is that is the domain of the, the server that is connecting to this server. Um, so in this case, it would be some other domain trying to send an email to a, a Google Mail account. And so now I can do mail from, and it's not echoing back here, but uh, I'll just type, um, I don't know, like Trump at whitehouse.gov, something stupid like that, uh, just for demonstration purposes. But you'll see when I hit enter, it says, okay, uh, that's, that's totally okay. Um, so as long as it's a, a Gmail address, um, or the mail from address, you can put anything. Now this next part here, which is mail, which is the mail to address that needs to be on the server. So I'll type this command in and I'll enter a Gmail address I have uh, for using for this demo. I'm just using a spam email address. But anyways, I'll, I'll put that in and I get another okay. And then you send the actual data for the message. So I type in data and hit enter, I get the 354. And then here is where I can start putting some information. So if I do from, I'll do trump at whitehouse.gov to, and I'll put in the email address here. And I'm not going to put anything in the content. Well, maybe I will put a, uh, well, yeah, I'll just, I'll just leave it at that uh, for the demonstration. And then you end with just a single period and you hit enter there and it's saying, okay. And if I type quit and hit enter, it'll disconnect me as expected. And we can check that. Um, actually a Firefox for this purpose. It's not that Internet Explorer 6 uh, doesn't work at all. It can open it up here. It can't even connect to Microsoft's own website, uh, which is kind of ironic. Um, but uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, so Bing works here. And this is, uh, this is Internet Explorer 6. So uh, Bing actually works, uh, at least the home page loads. And, uh, and and searching works just fine, actually. Google does not work. Um, you'll just get this this error when you try to 
navigate to a Google web page. So anyways, I have Firefox up for that purpose. So I'm just going to reload here. And obviously it's a basic HTML. And uh, you'll notice this increase by one. If I come in here, uh, it looks like we have a new email from Trump at whitehouse.gov. And it's been correctly sent to spam, obviously, because this is a bogus email that we just sent on the server from a bogus email address. Uh, this didn't really come from Trump at whitehouse.gov. So I guess there's two takeaways from this. One, uh, you can just see that it's very easy to, to spoof an email to anyone. Um, it won't necessarily... Um, like Gmail has a pretty good idea that this email is fraudulent, which is why it ended up in spam. So um, it's a little bit more complicated than that. But uh, you could, you can send an email um, and spoof anyone's email address pretty much. Um, and, and even today, very few people have DKIM records set up on their domain and stuff. So um, as a general rule, you know, as you can see, we've even spoofed whitehouse.gov. So you can pretty much spoof any email address easily, an email from any email address, and you can just do that from the command prompt. Um, so no sophisticated tools required or anything like that. As you can see, uh, it pretty much worked without any issues at all. Um, obviously, uh, the recipient these days with advanced uh, email inspection, all that, the recipient is probably going to know that it's a fraudulent email. It'll probably go to spam. Um, but if you are trying to prank someone naive, then perhaps a technique like this can work. So that is basically how you connect to a mail server and just use SMT com SMTP commands uh, to send a basic email message. And often this is useful for testing your mail settings or, or various things like that. It's Obviously not very practical to send email this way, but you certainly can do it as you can see. Even major providers like Google allow this on, on their servers. You can connect and send an email to a Google user and, and, and pretty much put in any email address you want.